hell are you doing 195 miles an hour when you reach this first part and it's unsighted but just brush the brake pedal a little bit downshift a couple of gears you still want to be doing 160 miles an hour through the first part then slow for a second time into turn two down to just 90. it's a great challenge to start the lap so a short squirt back up to 150 miles an hour then before turn three and the drivers are going to find a subtle difference this year They've moved the wall away on the outside for greater safety, but I think can still have a massive accident over there in turn four, where the wall is just seven or eight metres away at 110 miles an hour. Turn five comes up very, very quickly. A little left, stay to the left, over the crest is six, and stay to the right this time. You're now in the foot of the hill for the Dunlop curve. A never-ending left-hander, 150 in the middle, 175 on the exit. Now watch a lacy through Degna one, superb. Just barely slows the car down, but now down to 90 for Degna 2. Then up towards the hairpin, scene of many a driver error. Why is that? Well, look, it's unsighted, climbing the hill gently. You're doing 160 miles an hour as you leave the edge of that kerb. And you've got this short distance here to get down to just 40, ready for the hairpin. Let the back end slide because the car goes very light as you're down shifting. And it points you nicely up the hill and away towards Spoon Corner from 40 miles an hour and with 800 horsepower available the traction control working overtime and you've got a series of long right handers before you get to spoon doing 180 miles an hour when you arrive just come down to 120 for the first part let the car have its head move to the outside and back down inside at 90 for the second part of spoon Alasis Jordan working absolutely beautifully as he builds to over 190 miles an hour. The fabulous 130R ahead of you. Look, no space at all. You've got to be supremely accurate. A little downshift there and away towards the final chicane. Break in a straight line. Watch him just launch across the curbs. He's being a complete animal. You can tell it's his last Grand Prix, can't you? But now building speed again. There's the start finish line. I really enjoyed watching Alasis at work. And the Lacey enjoying himself hugely. A flying Friday at Suzuka for him. Top of the charts in that Jordan in 135.4. I love this place, says Jean Alacy. Gotta go for